Good morning. Today is February 9. We'll be play, praying the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer. We'll be using Volume 3 of the Liturgy of the Hours book. Both books, the Liturgy of the Hours and the Christian Prayer book, will begin at 728. The difference will be the hymn. The Liturgy of the Hours will begin at 748. And the Christian Prayer will begin at pay, hymn number 4. Let us have a moment of silence and we can begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who was not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift up your heads, grow higher, ancient doors, let him enter, the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord the valiant in war. O gates, lift up your heads, grow higher, ancient doors, let him enter, the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? He is the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be, forever. Amen. The, the man, man whose deeds are blameless and, and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. Praise the eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God who lives forever because his kingdom lasts for all ages. For he is courageous and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being, because he is the Lord our God, our Father, and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on you all, 
He will gather you from all the Gentiles among whom you have been scattered. When you turn your back to Him with all your heart to do what is right before Him, then He will turn back to you and no longer hide His face from you. So now consider what He has done for you and praise Him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners. Do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all men speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise, Praise the eternal, eternal King in, in all your deeds. deeds. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a ten-stringed lute, sing him songs. O sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depth of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nation, he defeats the plans of the peoples. His own design shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers in the earth, he who shapes the hearts of all them all, and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is a horse, despite its power it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In Him do our hearts find joy. We trust in His holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the loyal, loyal heart, heart must praise, praise the Lord. The Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. It is now the hour for you to wake from sleep. The night is far spent, the day draws near. Let us cast off deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in daylight. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. While the apostle, the author, says that Christian, Christians claim to be people of the new day that will dawn with the return of Christ on a conduct that is consonant with avowed interest in the Lord's return. See, we are all eternal creatures created by God from the very beginning. Then we live for a brief moment of time 
as men and women, then we get old and are dis destined to return to Him in His loving arms, where He prepares for us many dwelling places. On some versions, this many dwelling places is um, interpreted as mansions. Wow. The scripture today, though it talks about the end of time, we Christians see this as not the end. As Christians, we see it as life that has only changed. We mature into our glorified bodies. To prepare ourselves, Paul the Apostle encourages us to put on the armor of light, also known as our faith, where this faith is expressed in a conduct by loving our Lord and one another, especially the least ones, in the interest of the Lord's return. Lord, you are my God, my Savior. My God stands by me. All my trust is in Him. My God stands by me. All my trust is in Him. I find refuge in Him, and I am truly free. All my trust is in Him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My God stands by me. All my trust is in Him. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as He promised through the words of His holy prophets. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. God has raised up for us a mighty Savior, as he promised through the words of his holy prophets. Beloved brothers and sisters, we share a heavenly calling under Christ, our High Priest. Let us praise him with shouts of joy, Lord our God and our Savior. Almighty King, through baptism you conferred on us a royal priesthood. Inspire us to offer you a continual sacrifice of praise. Help us to keep your commandments, that through the power of the Holy Spirit we may live in you and you in us. Give us your eternal wisdom to be with us today and to guide us. May our companions today be free of sorrow and filled with joy. And for what else should we pray for? Let us take this time to silently lift up all our petitions in our hearts. Lord Jesus, we offer these prayers to you, along with everyone else who is praying with us this morning. We ask, Lord God, that you answer our prayers and hear us as we all pray. Lord, Lord our God and our Savior. Savior. 
Together as one family, one community, we pray the prayer your Son Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, hear our morning prayer and let the radiance of your love scatter the gloom of our hearts. The light of heaven's love has restored us to life. Free us from the desires that belong to darkness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, have a great, great day. day.